for quite a while. Still right now doing almost 36 GPS. So I am definitely not limiting my speed, which affects range. Yo, what's up, Duff here, out on the Master V4. Wheel I've had for several months. I haven't gotten to ride it as much as uh, I would prefer, but that would go for most of my wheels, right? I don't ride as much as I would prefer, to be honest with you. Um, I'm doing something that I wanted to do for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it, and that is a range test. Yeah, I want to see how far I can go in the Master V4. I'm hoping I can go roughly 50 miles, which is the distance out to my old house and back. I'm uh, That is my plan. Uh, this wheel has a, what is it, 2400 watt hour battery, I think? 22 or 24, hopefully 24. But let's, uh, let's see what happens. I got someone just kind of hanging on my blind spot, so we're gonna let them pass. I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last time I did this this ride was probably when I had the uh, the Lynx demo, right? I think. And I do want to do this on my V13 as well, uh, but not today. I want to try the Master V4 because I've never done it on the Master V4. I've done it on the uh, the demo V13 I had from E-Wheels. Uh, I've done a range test, so that's why I'm not doing that today and instead choosing the Master. Actually, I did a little bit of a detour because I forgot the way that I normally go on these range tests. It's been that long. This is not the best conditions to do this. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. See the sky ahead. Uh, those, those are clouds that definitely hold some precipitation. Um, and I'm going to be on the road for approximately three hours. And I don't really know how water resistant a Master V4 is. So it's not, it's not a fantastic idea. I've had a lot of not, uh, less than fantastic ideas. And uh, so... <laughs> Some of them work out, some of them don't. So uh, let's see if this one works out. Like all of my range chests in recent history, this is just going to be a comfortable riding speed range chest. I'm not trying to stay uh, below a certain miles per hour. I'm trying to make this like a usable speed uh, range chest, which for me uh, means probably between uh, 25 and 35 miles an hour for uh, the majority of the ride. So those are my parameters. Our area down here in Southwest Florida, we did have a brush with Hurricane Helene this week. Um, for us, it just meant uh, mostly wind, not really a rain event, but mostly wind, but we actually did have some coastal flooding. Uh, there's areas by the beach that have a couple feet of sand on them now, you know, parking areas and stuff. Um, I just had a bunch of branches knocked down uh, from the wind. You know, gusts around here that have, I think some of them got in the uh, 60 or 70 mile an hour range, so. It was, it was, uh, you know, it could have been way, way worse. And the people up in Northern Florida really took a terrible hit. <laughs> so I feel lucky in that regard. Um, but yeah, hurricanes are never fun. So like I mentioned, this rain chest, you know, I can usually dial it in to be around 50 miles and I can add distance at the end if I need to. Um, unlike my rain chest when I used to live out in the estates, which was always just uh, normally a simple out and back, uh, on this one, I normally go out one direction and then come back a slightly different direction. Just uh, not for any particular reason other than it's more visually interesting, you know, so that's the plan. So I'm hoping as I get more inland, like usually the way it works around here is if it rains, if it's raining near the coast, then it's then inland it's not normally raining and then vice versa. So maybe I can get out there, it's not raining, and by the time I get back here, any rain uh, that may fall will have already occurred because this is normally like a three hour round trip for me. So let's see what happens. I might even stop for Dunkin' Donuts on the way back. Imagine that. I've been posting some AI enhanced content lately. Uh, not tons of people have seen it, uh, but I've, I've done a few things. Marty turned me on to how to have uh, AI ingest and give a summary podcast basically of a live stream or anything really where you basically take the content, you, you transcribe it into text, you feed that text to AI, and AI will generate a podcast uh, where you have like two people that, that seem almost real talking about the content. I've done a couple of those. It's kind of interesting as well as doing a video uh, where I describe what I did to, uh, to make it happen. 
In addition, I created finally something for my 2000th video, even though I'm at 2060 videos. <laughs> this being 2061, no more than that actually. But uh, yeah, I used AI on a site called, is it Sonos or Sono? Sono, I think. Where basically I gave it a one sentence description of what I wanted a song to be, which was really related to me riding an electric unicycle to Dunkin' Donuts. And then it created the song, it created the, the, the lyrics, it created everything. And then all I did is I just, I just grabbed a bunch of uh, Dunkin' Donuts footage from some of my old videos and just slapped that together and, and attached the, uh, the song to it and put that up there as, hey, here's my 2000 video celebration. Pretty interesting. I mean, it's not great, but it's not, I mean, the songs, I don't know, it's kind of catchy, right? It's kind of catchy if you've heard it. But yeah, I've been, I've been digging into AI a little bit. All right, we are 11 and a half minutes into the ride and I got my first raindrops hitting me. It's not severe. It's relatively light. I'm gonna be making a right-hand turn. Although I'm looking ahead and it looks like it's gonna be raining harder ahead, but I'm hoping as I head north, I will get away from this. I will ride away from it. I think I might. Okay, as I look this direction, I see solid gray. Not, not, was, not what I was hoping for. <laughs> not ideal. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If I, gotta, if I gotta take cover for a little while, I guess I can. We'll see what happens. Rain drops on the windshield. Visibility, visibility is still fine, and I'm on the sidewalk, so it doesn't really matter, right? Just had that uh, guy running his gas-powered blower. Couldn't hear me say anything, so I just, uh, and he was kind of uh, meandering right in the middle of the sidewalk, but uh, slide by, I slid by him, luckily. Played uh, pickleball this morning. I had to wait about an hour because the courts were still wet from rain we had this morning. They dried out and played for, I don't know, an hour and a half, something like that. Fun session, uh, but uh, yeah, looks like we're gonna deal with some rain once again. The pickleball obsession is still strong within me. This uh, sidewalk section of the ride is my least favorite part of the ride. Uh, down here, there's no bike lane, so I don't I don't try to merge with the three lanes of very full traffic normally. There's a bike lane, I believe, a mile up that I, that I hop back in. So even though I'm on the sidewalk, I'm still able to comfortably maintain 25 to 30 without, without much effort. Uh, rain currently has stopped. So let's, let's hope it stays that way. That'd be lovely, right? Because I'm only uh, slightly moist at this point. All right, I'd normally get in there. The mic. I normally wouldn't do this. I'm in the middle lane here, approaching the intersection. So instead of messing with uh, the fucking, uh, I'm sorry, swore. Instead of messing with the crosswalk, I'm just riding this lane here. And then once I get across this intersection, I will be back in the bike lane. I'm trying to be uh, faster, you know, faster. The road is wet though, the road is soaked actually. The road is soaked, very, very wet. Feels like the mud guard is allowing some water to hit me in the back. That's what it feels like. Rolling a very uh, moist 30 miles an hour right now. Feels about okay for these conditions. Don't feel the need to go much faster. Feels like I have a spray of water going up my ass. And uh, I've never really used a bidet, but maybe this is what it feels like. Actually, I even feel it on my neck. Wow, that's crazy. Well, did I mention that I have my GPS on? I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. I got my GPS and I uh, had Darkness Spot running, so we can get a comparison. Although I did start Darkness Spot late, so actually the miles on Darkness Spot will not be accurate, but the GPS will. And right now, GPS-wise, we've just crossed the nine-mile mark. And on the wheel, I've lost one of five bars. I have four or five bars. Uh, that doesn't give me a real warm and fuzzy feeling. I'm gonna have to monitor this because the last thing I want to do is push this thing. So I need to be uh, a little careful.
Okay, we are um, coming off Livingston Road, turning on to Vanderbilt Beach Road. Wish they would go instead of being, they have a green arrow and they're still stopped. There you go. Atta boy, there you go. Way to pay attention to traffic signals. Proud of you. All right, the skies over there look like shit. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna get my wish. Okay, so at this point, I think it's safe to say that the uh, mud guard, splash guard on the uh, Master V4 uh, is not very effective with water. I'm used to the, the guards on the veteran wheels, on my uh, V13, much better at actually shielding my entire back from water. I feel like I have a line of uh, water up my back like a skunk right now. Less than ideal, I'm getting like fine road mist onto my, my uh, sunshade. It's making it difficult to see. Like if there's something in the, in the bike lane, I, I, I don't have real good visibility of it. So yeah, this isn't a, it's not a great scenario. He, he was hugging the white line as he passed me. Hugging it. Of course, sprayed me with water. So whoever you are in the white dump truck, I have determined that you are an asshole. Okay, so my plan is to stop at the, um, the shopping center that's at the corner of Immokalee and uh, Collier Boulevard and take a good look at my battery, see where I'm at and see if it's even realistic for me to go the additional 10 miles out towards my house. Yeah, welcome to Florida right now. Ugh. We got blue skies and sun right there. We got gray skies and rain looking there. And you got me all wet. Sun's drying out this path pretty quick. Very easy to go fast on the uh, V4 Master. Doing, doing wheel speed, 36, 37. It feels very easy. Just another example. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful blue skies. Sunny. Gray. Rain filled. Treacherous. I haven't been here in a little while. They added something else. Lake Park Diner. Every time I come here, they added something new. This is where uh, you can get boba as well. But I'm not in a boba kind of mood today. But um, yeah, this is my spot for boba. All right. We are doing an assessment right now. Okay, it says my batteries is 66% and I've gone 16.73 miles. Um, yeah, there ain't no way. If I do, do another 10 miles out there, that's probably about nine miles from where I'm at. No, it won't work, I, I won't get back. Or, or yeah, no, I just, I simply would not get back. So I need to, oh wow, max speed 42.2. Wow, let's, let's take a picture of that. Go up a little bit and then come back down and grab my Dunkin' Donuts. But yeah, 67% is not enough for me to get out there. I don't feel like I can make it all the way out there and back, so I'm gonna go somewhere in between. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, you know, like turn around at 20 miles GPS and go from there. And then I can just get my extra mileage close to the house, just so I'm not risking getting stranded. So today's not a good day to get stranded. And it's just as well that I don't go all the way out there, because as you can see ahead, that's, that's rain for sure ahead, so. Just as good. I'm just watching my GPS. Once I get around 20 miles, I will uh, switch sides of the road and uh, reverse. I will be swinging a U-turn at the next light. You probably cannot see. It's right too far out to see the GoPro. I'm at. I just. I just hit 20 miles GPS, so that should work. I think that'll work out all right. Crossing six lanes of traffic like a boss. Wow. It's usually not that easy to get a break to be able to do that, but. Today's my lucky day. Now they so gray behind me. Sunshine, blue skies. Always head towards the sunshine and blue skies, right? That's, a, that's an important lesson in life. Head towards the sunshine and blue skies. Got a nice little headwind here pressing against me. Um, so yeah, the plan is to stop at the OG Dunkin' Donuts, grab some coffee, and then uh, continue back like I normally would and see uh, 
see how we do along the way. I know George, George from uh, Palm, Palm Beach County, uh, he has a Master V4, and I can't remember, I don't think he's ever done a range test, but he always says that he gets a tremendous range. Um, I don't know, this doesn't seem tremendous to me, but uh, I am bigger. Even though I will express it during the video, I just wanted to emphasize this is one of the scariest things that uh, I experienced ever. So proceed with caution. Been hauling ass for quite a while, still right now I'm doing almost 36 GPS. So I am definitely not limiting my speed, which affects range. You almost saw me die. You almost saw me die. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god, um, I've got blood all over my arm, um, oh yeah, pants are a little ripped, uh, yeah, let me, uh, oh my god, let me, um, let me get to a place where I can gather myself, just had a, uh, fire chief stop, verify I was okay. Guys, <laughs> and gals, I can't quite describe what it's like to be waiting to be run over by a vehicle because I thought that was coming. <sighs> Why is this so... This, the road right here is like super slippery. That's why I wiped out. For some reason, this section of road is like ice. I thought I hit paint or something, but I just got on the wheel slow and it still feels like ice. So we're, why, huh? That's, all right, well that's why I wiped out. Although the wheel feels a little wonky too. I don't know, man. I don't know, can you see the wheel? Not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't feel good riding it right here. It's wanting to pull to the right. Why is it wanting to pull to the right? I'm not sure. Right, I'm just gonna walk till I get to someplace safe. This walks a little longer than expected. Man, oh man. You know, I was doing upper 30s probably when that happened. It literally felt like it hit a patch of ice. <laughs> the wheel fishtailed. My direction went out, out into traffic. The wheel went out ahead of me. Uh, three lanes of traffic going 60 miles an hour plus. Luckily, thank God, people behind me were aware. They saw it happening. So I followed the same path that the wheel did. I wound up in the middle lane. I slid in my gear, wound up in the middle lane, turned around, behind me in the middle lane is a dump truck. Yes, a dump truck. So, I don't know guys, that's uh, 
That's a life realigner right there. That was um, about as close as you can get. Uh, okay, it's unrideable. The rim's bent. I just try to get on it and it's, it's doing this. Bent the rim. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna try to call for an SOS. Let's see, uh, see who I can get. All right, so uh, I was able to get a hold of um, uh, one of the people in my department. She lives up here on Mafia Rose. So I thought she'd be a, a good option. She's not actually home. She's, she's close-ish, so she's coming to get me. And uh, yeah, helmets when you're walking, they're hot. I feel very hot right now. I feel very beat up right now. Phone, I think I might have cracked the screen on my phone too, it looks like. I'm not sure if it's the screen protector or this phone itself, but I think I might have cracked my phone. So yeah, I guess we'll do a full damage assessment when I get home. The shirt I chose to wear is a, a little ironic today. A little ironic. I might, I might have gotten some on the grass, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's only where I'm, I'm bleeding, I think. I don't know. Oh, well, I think my finger is a little bit. But... All in all, it could be much bloodier. The uh, Soleil gear uh, seemed to work. Maybe a little bit too good. It let me slide so far. Oh, shit. I see what happened. It's totally flat. I wonder if I lost the inner tube. Because that would definitely feel like you're riding on ice, right? Yeah, I bet I lost the inner tube. It was like an instant deflate and uh, kill duff kind of thing. Oh my God. I think that's what it was. Shit. All right, my ride's almost here. When I get home, I will be giving a recap of this uh, experience. Two hours late. All right. I'm home. Thank God um, Michelle was able to bring me back. I did uh, actually reach out to Christine and she was going to get me if Michelle couldn't, which I appreciate as well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure my inner tube failed and that's what caused it. If And it makes sense because if an inner tube fails, it feels like you're on ice, right? Because your tire is just squirreling around. So um, the good news is, is it probably means that my rim is not bent, I think. Just the tire, the tube is gone. Uh, let's see, checking out my Sully gear. Yeah, I mean, I slid, I slid, I bet I slid, I don't know, a hundred feet at least, probably. Uh, scraped up, scraped up, scraped up. Unfortunately, I must have rolled onto the side and that exposed that elbow. So that is really raw and hurting. Uh, I got some blood on the helmet, wrist guarder, scraped up, but, and uh, pants are ripped. I don't know, can you see that? Pants are ripped. The wheel. Uh, this this I ripped it off all the way because it was shifted back and it kept hitting the the um, the lift button. So I just ripped it the rest of the way. So I don't I'm gonna have to take it apart to see how messed up that is. Uh, you know the Clark pad stuff got scraped up, but not horribly. So hopefully the wheel lives to fight another day. Hopefully, but that um, I've never had an experience like that. Um, like I described that on the road, it, it, in in a split second. I lost traction, the wheel fishtailed, went into traffic, and I was still on it at that point. And all I remember is me going forward, sliding, seeing the wheel in front of me, and me just sliding into the middle lane, bracing myself to get run over. I was sure that I was gonna get run over, and that is a, that is a very strange, it's a very strange feeling, you know? I, I literally, I, I never, I don't know that I've ever been in a situation where I thought like, okay, well, this is where I die. And um, I kind of felt that way. Kind of did. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're not going to do all the, uh, you know, thumbs up, uh, like, and subscribe because, uh, yeah, I don't feel like it. I'll probably talk about it more in a live stream. The camera was rolling, by the way. Well, I guess you're going to know that because you're going to see the footage. I was actually filming when this happened. So, yeah. So... I don't know, lesson learned, I guess.
that, um, you know, I think, I think sometimes a false sense of security is instilled on all of us, you know, from riding these, these devices, you know, fast for long periods of time without incident. You know, I'm generally a safe rider, but this is something unexpected, unexpected. And uh, it almost took me out. It almost took me out. So lesson learned, lesson learned. So that's all I got. Duffman out.